because this guy can be a little bit slippery. But, woo, there it goes. <laughs> I love pasta and I was so sad many years ago when I had to give it up to go gluten-free. And then I was super excited when I found out that there was a vegetable called spaghetti squash that actually had a similar texture to pasta. I'm gonna show you how I turned this yellow vegetable into coffee cat pasta noodles. They have way less carbs and they're almost as satisfying as pasta when you add a delicious sauce and meat and other vegetables. We'll begin by removing the sticker. Don't ask me how many times I've forgotten to do that. And then you're going to find a very large knife and have a towel just as a extra safety precaution. We're going to cut off the ends of both sides of the squash. So very gently, just kind of start cutting in, making your line and keep towel in between your fingers and the blade because this guy can be a little bit slippery. So I'm just, but, woo, there it goes. <laughs> It's gradually going around to get the end off. Now flip it around and we'll do the exact same thing to the other side. And it depends on how sharp your knife is on how easy this is. I'm just going very gradual and gentle. There we go, until we get that side off. Cutting off the ends is gonna help the inside cook through. Now we have the option of cutting it in half widthwise or lengthwise but the strands of spaghetti squash run in a circular pattern this direction. So if you want to have long strands, you're gonna to want to cut it in half this way, or if you're gonna be cutting the strands in half anyway, you can go ahead and cut it down the length. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down the width so that I have the long strands. And so with this, I'm just gonna gently insert my blade about halfway and I'm just gonna wiggle it a little bit. And we're kind of wanting to kind of more crack it as opposed to cut it. Again, just going really gentle because this skin is very tough. Ooh, I can already hear it starting to crack. It's kind of like a fault line. <laughs> oh, and then now we can, this is kind of fun, ready? Woo! <laughs> All right, now it's cut in half. And inside you have these seeds, which is very similar to a pumpkin that you might carve at Halloween time. Now we're just gonna take a large spoon and we're gonna spoon out the seeds and all the kind of slimy stuff in the middle, as my kids would call it. You can already see those little strands of spaghetti noodles in there. There we go, we're gonna spoon out both halves. Mmm, smells like Halloween. <laughs> now to cook these in the oven, we're just gonna use a pan that is lined with parchment paper. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of avocado oil and I'm gonna lightly spray the insides of these. Give that quick spray. All right, and now I'm going to face these upside down here on my pan. Now this will go into a 400 degree oven for about 45 minutes. Now through the magic of television, <laughs> you didn't see anything. <laughs> I always thought that was so fun. <laughs> so here's the spaghetti squash that I cooked earlier and you can see the shape of it had a little more ridges to it, which is just a variation of the squash. But you can see after about 45 minutes that it will start to brown just slightly. And by cutting the end off, it allowed the squash to cook through. Now's the fun part. So we're gonna take a fork and we're just gonna start scraping out those little noodles. And the squash is nice and soft, and so those noodles just easily break away from the edges. And we have a separate bowl here to scrape our noodles down into. And they really do look like pasta. And we'll just keep scraping until we get all those noodles out. And these spaghetti squash are a little bit on the small side, so a little bit larger squash would give you a bigger yield. This was all the grocery store had. Kids think this is so fun, how noodles just magically appear out of a vegetable. And here you have a fun bowl of spaghetti noodles that you can use in your favorite pasta recipe. One of my favorite ways to enjoy spaghetti noodles is with my homemade Alfredo sauce. So I simply start with a layer of noodles, pour on some of my Alfredo sauce, which you can check out this video on my website. And then I'll add some of my Gordon Ramsay inspired cooked chicken strips and finish it off with a little garnish of some extra Parmesan cheese. Make sure we got lots of sauce on that bite with some noodles and chicken. Mmm. That is so delicious. The spaghetti noodles have such a delicious tang to them, you'll never miss the pasta. Mmm. If you're on a special diet and can't eat pasta anymore, you have to try these noodles. They're so easy and so delicious. 
Oh, I still have my sticker on. 